So I'm making this video by special request from the internet. Uh, this video is about how to use some Python tools I've created for Rhino to create easy finger jointed boxes, something that if you have a laser cutter or a CNC router table, you find yourself doing a lot. So uh, we're gonna make a simple box. I'm gonna show you how these tools make it really easy. Let's start by creating our box. Make a box, put it at zero, zero. We're gonna make our box three inches by four inches by five inches. And there it is. Beautiful. Now I'm using a space navigator, which means I'm gonna be zooming around stuff really quickly. I hope that this doesn't make you sick. I'm sorry in advance. Easiest way to make a box is to start by exploding this poly surface. And then running offset surface, whoops, offset surface. We select the whole thing. Now we're gonna be making this box out of a three millimeter wood so I'm gonna type three millimeters and also I want to uh, flip the direction in which these surfaces are offset and there you go now it's important to note about this box that all of the edges intersect this is very important for the finger jointing script to work they all intersect one another now we're gonna run finger three which is the script that I've written. Now it's gonna ask me for my X objects, my Y objects, and my Z objects. Now it's not actually important which axes these are on, uh, it's just important that they be mutually orthogonal. So I'll arbitrarily select these as my X, these as my Y, press enter, and these as my Z, press enter. Now it's asking me how many subdivisions. This says how many fingers are gonna be on each edge of the box. I'm gonna leave it at the default, which is five. Now this script isn't very smart. It needs help figuring out where these things intersect. And so I'm gonna draw a line along the edge of the intersection from the X and Y. I'm gonna draw another line along the YZ. And finally, I'll draw a line ZX. It's going to do its magic now. And there we have a finger jointed box floating in space. Now, once upon a time, I would have used BoxMaker online to generate PDFs and import those into a 3D CAD tool and then export them and try and reassemble them in space because it's very rare that you merely want a finger jointed box. Oftentimes, you want a box in space that you can then do additional operations to. So to see what I mean, I'm gonna create a sphere and that sphere is gonna be centered right at this corner. It'll be 1.5 inches in diameter. Maybe that's inches in radius, excuse me. And then we'll subtract this sphere from the rest of our box. So Boolean difference, select everything, unselect our sphere, subtract with our sphere, delete our sphere. You can see we have a one and a half inch radius. I'm not quite sure what to call that shape there. Uh, let's do some other operations. Let's change our C plane to this surface and make a hole pattern. We'll put the center of that hole pattern here. Oops. Center. Let's lock off to each of these. And we'll make that a one inch by one inch rectangle. And then put circles at the corners, which will be 0 0.125. Make an array of them. Boom. Select the last. Select that. Make a hole in this surface all the way through, delete the geometry, delete our square. So now we have a finger jointed box that we've modified for some reason. I don't know why. The next step is get this thing ready for laser cutting. To do that, we have to lay all of these parts down. Now, what I'm gonna use is a script I've written called Lay. Lay will take individual pieces of a part and lay them down flat on the top C plane. So to run that, I type lay. And 
Piece by piece, I'm going to select the surface that I want to be down, facing down on the top seaplane. As I click on them, they're going to disappear, and they're going to appear at the origin of the top seaplane. Now, they're not actually being deleted. They're just being hidden. So once I've gotten rid of all my parts, hit Escape. Now I'm going to show that part again. As you can see, it's still there. It was just hidden. And now we're going to go take a look at the parts that we laid down on the top seaplane. Now, there's still something missing here. We can't just laser cut this. We need to turn these into curves. My trick for turning 3D shapes into curves is to select them all, make 2D, select the current seaplane, hit OK. This creates 2D versions of the parts in question. Now, one problem with these parts is that these are not connected fix that, we select them again. We use curve, bo curve boolean and click inside each of them. We're going to set delete input to all. There he is. Boom. And there we have a bunch of fully connected parts. Now I can go ahead and delete these original 3D parts. And now I have my 3D part still in space and I have my 2D curves on the top seaplane ready for laser cutting. Now one last thing I have to do, I have a 12 by 24 laser cutter. So I will arrange these parts inside this rectangle which represents my laser cutter. Probably not the most efficient layout. Ah, you'll notice that these weren't grouped. My bad. Group. And move. And there you have it. Six pieces of a laser, laser jointed box ready for laser cutting.